Before making the ladybug, we're going to use the basic equipment and then these special things that are shown here. First of all, I have the licorice, which is the black we've used several times during this video presentation. This is used to make the black for the body. For the actual wings of the ladybug, I will be using red extra. This is also an imported red, which has a really good concentrated color. And I use this for holiday anthuriums, poinsettias, various other red flowers and berries. And uh, this is a no-taste red, and as I said, it's very concentrated. We'll also use the confectioner's glaze for glazing the wings and the body. And finally, to make the small wings, I will use this little, almost like rose petal shape from the Celebration Cutter set. You can also use other cutters you may have at home, like Broidy Anglaise cutters as well, which have this little, almost like little rose petal shape into them. For the ladybug, we will start off with some black colored paste. This has been colored with the licorice. This is number four small size ball of paste. Because ladybugs are very tiny, then take just a little shortening. Remember, black paste will dry out fairly quickly, so the little shortening in the paste will just help to extend the working time we have with the paste. Make this into just a small cone shape. So just roll it into a small cone. Just use a little cornstarch as necessary. Like I did for the dragonfly, I'm going to make the small head. So I will just roll where the point of the piece is here to make the little head for the ladybug. Once we have the small head area, I will take a toothpick now I'm going to dip the pointed end of the toothpick in some shortening. What this will do, this will enable me to have something to hold on to. It makes it much easier. But the shortening will mean that I will be able to take the toothpick out once the ladybug is dry. So I'll put a little shortening onto the end of the stick. And we'll push this into the fat end of the cone. The next stage will be to take a pair of fine scissors and make just a small cut on the end here. So it is almost like a little crab claw or like the end of a scorpion's sting. Or similar really to the dragonfly. Then I will take a pair of tweezers. Using my tweezers I'm now going to thin out the paste on each side of the toothpick. So this will almost look a little bit like a bat's wings. So you have a solid area here in the center of the ladybug and you have these flaps each side. This will be where we will actually cut the legs of the ladybug. Taking a pair of my spring action scissors. First of all, I will make a cut and remove. So what I'm actually doing is just leveling off the paste at each side. So we'll just pull off this small piece of paste each side. So we have a nice, almost like a level top here and here. And then I will cut three legs each side. One leg, two legs, three legs and then we'll do three legs on the opposite side, one, two, three. And for Halloween cakes and other cakes where maybe you want to make a spider, you can do that in the same way as this except cut four legs each side. Once we have done that, I'm then going to take my knife tool and I will then cut away the excess paste on the front and the back and just remove this piece of paste here and piece of paste here underneath the legs just mold this around so you will have then the small three legs each side and you will have the little ladybug's body 
Now the legs now need to be moved and you need to work fairly quickly because the black paste will dry. We will put two legs coming down and then two legs coming up to the front here. Now sometimes the ladybug will want to jump off the toothpick so you just need to sort of hold your finger underneath to just encourage the paste so as you can see you have your little ladybug's basic body. I've rolled out a little red paste now you need very little this is enough to make about 25 ladybugs um, once you have rolled the paste out we're just going to cut out some of these little petal shapes just remove this and this is going to give me the little piece I need for the ladybug's wings. I will take this and we'll place this onto the soft side of the pad. With my scissors I will remove the sharp point so I will end up with a sort of square square end and then we'll have a rose petal shape and then with my scissors I will cut down from the rounded end I will cut down the middle of this but not all the way down so using my scissors I will cut down so this will make like almost like the little cloak for the ladybug taking my cell stick you can either use the small cell stick or a larger cell stick I will then flatten this out and usually I use the larger one for this so I will just flatten out the so this will make it almost like two daisy petals as you can see this will make it slightly cupped also then what I will do is we'll brush a little bit of egg white into the inside of this because we will turn this over just mainly the egg white needs to be put around the square end of this taking my ladybug's body I will then lift this up on a toothpick and turn it over and will then position this so it will sit like a little cloak so the square end goes around the neck and this will then go on to his little body like so so here we have his little wings positioned on his body to finish the ladybug off I would let it dry and then I will paint all of the black area is going to be painted black and also I will just paint a little bit of black just sort of around that bottom part and just paint a very fine line right down the middle of the ladybug's wings to make a separation between the two wings you will continue that all the way over and then for the little spots I will take a toothpick I found a toothpick works really great for just making little spots and dots and I use this technique for also when I'm doing flowers as well and you will do three or four little dots on each of the wings we then let this dry completely so this black is going to dry particularly the small dots they will take several hours to dry properly so once you have this is dry and you have glazed over the surface like we did with the bumblebee we will remove the ladybug from the toothpick and usually I keep it on the toothpick until I'm ready to take him off and here will be a little ladybug ready to go onto a rose leaf, a strawberry or wherever you'd like to put him.